friends, welcome back. So today I'm gonna do kind of a different video for you. Uh, so I'm looking over at my computer. I had a request from a subscriber. Um, I believe it's a woman, but I'm not really sure. Um, their YouTube name is Becoming a Better Me. She said, I need a tutorial on how to use the Weight Watcher recipe builder. Would you video that process? I'm gonna do the best I can. <laughs> I'm having some incredible allergies today, so bear with me. What I'm going to do, I picked a very simple recipe um, that only has a handful of ingredients. It's not something I'm making today. It's actually something in a brand new cookbook I just got that the recipe looks delicious and I think I am going to make it. So I will just put it in my recipe builder and I will show you how I do it. Um, I am definitely one who, I fight the system all that I can, and I'll show you what I mean when, when we get into, um, get to work here. This is a cookbook I just recently got, The Happy Herbivore. It is by Lindsay S. Nixon. It is, um, delicious, fat-free, and low-fat vegan recipes. I have literally literally just got this book a couple of days ago, so I've just been looking through and trying to find things that excite me, and this page jumped off the book at me. It is a Hawaiian chickpea teriyaki. The recipe is very small. The ingredients are very limited, so what I'm going to do is flip you around, show you the few ingredients that you will need, talk to you about any zero point ingredients and then show you how I enter them into the recipe builder so are you ready let's go so first I'm gonna try to give you a good screenshot of this recipe if you want to pause it write things down um, I will also show you the front of the book you may be able to look ingredients I mean uh, recipes up online this is the happy herbivore by Lindsay s Nixon that is the book if you want to look any of these recipes up I don't know if they're online or not and you will notice first she has the name it is gluten free I'm not sure what the star means. Let's kind of look that up because I'm not really sure. I guess the star means vegan. Oh. Omni friendly. I guess all of these these are. So there's a little guide here. That shows all of the different symbols. This is an omni friendly vegans and omnivores. It says all of these recipes in this book have been taste tested by vegans and omnivores alike, but recipes with this icons were the meat eaters' favorites, making them perfect for mixed diet gatherings. Okay. And then it has a little clock, so we know it's a quick recipe. Okay. These are the ingredients that I have that I will be putting in this recipe. The first is a can of chickpeas. These are what I always use. The reduced sodium, I just like to save where I can. I actually have recently started soaking my own fresh dried chickpeas but I do not have any left I've actually eaten them twice and used the whole bag that I had um, so these will work for today these are just a reduced sodium garbanzo bean now every single you can look up just garbanzo beans in the recipe builder sometimes I have to admit things can be way off in nutritional facts from brand to brand so it depends on how specific you actually want it to be. However, we have a Bush's Best Garbanzo Beans. That is for that. You need 
a teriyaki sauce. So I have this A1 marinade that is ginger teriyaki. You could use any brand that you want. This is what I have in my house. I'm not going to go out and buy anything special. And all it says is teriyaki sauce. This looks like teriyaki sauce to me. So that is what I will use. Then it says a Szechuan or a hot sauce. I'm not super into spice, and if it's spice, I want it to be kind of backlit with the sweet. You could use a Sriracha, you could use a Frank's Red Hot, you could use whatever you want. I have this Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce, which I absolutely adore. It tastes a lot like a Le Chow sweet and sour sauce with a little kick, so it's really sweet. I like it. It off balances the hot. So that is what I will be using. And then it says two cooks, two cups of cooked brown rice or cooked greens. I'm actually going to use white rice. I know that brown rice is technically better for you. However, my kids like white rice. My husband likes white rice. Neither one of them are too keen on brown rice. And truth be told, the points are about the same. I eat a lot of whole grains. I am not worried that a little white rice is going to hurt me. So this is the one I use. It is just minute rice. I like quick and easy. Premium rice. It's simple, easy. It's one to one. Water to rice. Cook it up. I like to just throw it in the microwave. Heat it up and it's done. And then it does say raw sugar. I'm just going to use one to two packets. This is my sweetener of choice. This is a zero calorie sweetener. It's called Pure Via by Stevia. And I have tried the True Via. I have tried things like Sweet and Low, things like that. This is the only one that I have personally found for myself that I don't get that real aftertaste of fake sugar. So this is the one that I am going to use. And I pulled out two because it does say one tablespoon, although of a sweetener like this, that may be too sweet. So I may only need one, especially because I'm using the sweet chili sauce. So that is it. There is um, a little salsa of pineapple and mango, and then there's a little chef's note here. This is if you want to create your own pineapple and mango salsa, mix equal parts of chopped pineapple and mango with minced red onion, fresh cilantro, and lime juice. Those are all zero point items. So I'm not going to worry about adding those to the recipe builder unless you are adding everything into the recipe builder to keep as a recipe. I don't add zero point items into my recipe builder. I just don't. It's just time consuming and it doesn't change the recipe anyways. I always have the regular recipe for an item either in a cookbook or on a page online where, because I keep all my recipes bookmarked in a folder. So I always pull that recipe up to see how it's actually created and then I use my Weight Watchers recipe builder just for the amounts of the ingredients if that makes any sense to you. Um, I also take every recipe that is in a book or online that I find and basically what I do is I plug it all in exactly the way that it is in the book I divide it by the number of servings. This says it serves two. I think out of a whole can of beans, I could definitely get, and two cups of rice, I could get more like four servings. But what I'm going to do is put it in completely like this, and then I will show you how I wiggle things around to get them the points that I want them. So let's get going. All right, I'm going to put you, let me move my book here. I'm going to move my planner. I'm going to pull my computer closer. And I'm going to put you right here. Alright. I hope that you guys can see this. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a little much. We don't need it quite that big. Okay. 
Okay, so this is your start page on Weight Watchers. You can see it is afternoon. I have yet to track anything today. I have it all tracked in my planner, but I have been out of the house, so I have not tracked anything today. Up here, under the Create button, you're going to click on that and go down to Recipe. This screen is going to pop up, and this is your recipe builder. I'm going to leave all of this up here blank for a moment, okay? So we're going to scroll down. This says recipe name. I guess I could fill that out. This is a Hawaiian chickpea teriyaki. Oops, I spelled it wrong. And then, okay, so the recipe itself says two servings. So up in this corner right here, you will see this dot. And right now there's a line through it because we don't have any ingredients. But as we add ingredients into our recipe builder, that circle is going to show you the amount of smart points per serving. Okay? So you can describe your recipe here. This is where I would usually put the website or the cookbook where I found it just as a note for myself so that when I pull this recipe up from my Weight Watchers site, I know where to go for the original recipe. Then here you're going to see add ingredient. So you click on that. I'm going to make you a little bigger now. Okay. So the first ingredient in the book is chickpeas. So I'm going to put chickpeas and you can look through, you can actually put, come on, come back little friend here. Go away, please. Come away, it's so. Okay, I'm not so sure why we are so fuzzy. Stop doing that. Okay, let go please, why are you being so fuzzy? Okay, let's bring it back. Okay, you can certainly look up the bushes best, or you can just grab from chickpeas, canned, okay. So garbanzo beans, canned, and drained. So we're going to click on that. And then it's going to give us the option of how much we want to add. The recipe in the book says one 15-ounce can. So we're going to change this to ounces. And we're going to do... 15 ounces here okay so we're going to do update which means that 15 ounces of garbanzo beans canned and drained is nine smart points so if you go up even further you can see that it has changed your number to five five points a piece right now and we've only added one ingredient so our next ingredient is teriyaki sauce so I'm gonna look up the one that I have a1 look at that a1 marinade teriyaki ginger that's the one I have and this recipe calls for a quarter of a cup so you're gonna change this to a cup change this to a quarter of a cup and then push update okay Next ingredient is the Trader Joe's spicy uh, sweet chili sauce. So we are going to look that up. Oops, where did I go here? Okay, so here is the Trader Joe's sweet chili sauce so we need 
one tablespoon, so that's what we have here, so we're going to update. And then our next ingredient is the raw sugar, so I'm going to look up the Pure Via, Pure Via. Pure Via Stevia one packet, which is here. So for now, I'm just going to put one in, even though there's zero, so it won't really matter. And then our last ingredient in our book is two cups of cooked brown rice. We are going to look up the minute, minute pre long grain instant rice now the first one that comes up is dry and I get really confused by this because we don't eat things dry so we're gonna keep going okay I just did this here a few minutes ago um, premium sometimes you have to really play with it um, because what happens is you can't actually find what you're looking for. So sometimes you have to just keep looking. Minute rice premium long grain prepared. So that's what we want right there. I like to see and add things into my recipe. It's just the starches. Everything else you can kind of, like meat I like to add in raw because you are handling it raw in the first place. So it's easier to add it into a recipe um, before you cook it. Something like a pasta or rice, um, I like to add it in prepared. So we're gonna click on this, and the recipe calls for two cups of cooked rice. So we're gonna change this to two, and update. Those are our only ingredients that cost us any points. You could add other vegetables to this. You could add the pineapple mango, mango salsa. But all of those are not going to change your recipe. It's not going to change the numbers that you have on here. So don't confuse yourself by making it too complicated. However, I will move you back up so that you can see what I'm talking about. Up here, it shows that for two servings, which what we put down here is a lot of food. It is two cups of cooked rice and a whole can of beans. So it is showing that it is 13 points per serving, which is quite a lot for a bean dish. So what I like to do at this point is change this. I could eat a half a cup of rice, which would make this four servings. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. So I'm going to change this right here to four. And then you have to kind of go back down here and update just so that it will change the points. And you can see now each serving, which would be a quarter of a can of beans, a half a cup of rice. I would probably serve this with a big bowl of steamed broccoli or something like that. So I think a half a cup of rice is perfect. If you want to eat a whole cup of rice and you don't mind spending 13 points on a recipe, that's your prerogative. It is your, that is why this is a recipe builder. It is made to fit what you want to eat. I would eat it as four or even we could even look at it as three servings. If we did three servings, you can see that it would change it to eight smart points a serving, which if you added steamed broccoli would add nothing to it. So you could literally have um, three quarters of a cup of rice, a third of a can of beans, and a third of the sauce. So that's not bad, eight points. So then what you're gonna do, you don't have to fill any of this stuff in. This is more just as a tool for you, prep time, cook time, things like that. You are prerogative if you wanna fill those out. I very rarely do. Then after you go down, another tip that I have, if you wanna watch, you don't really actually have much in here, but say you wanted to make this recipe 
say you only had five smart points left for the day, okay? So you've changed this to four smart points, but you don't want to starve. You want to make sure that the meal you're eating is enough. But see, here, you've still got six points. So I would simply go down into this, and maybe you change this 15 ounces to 10 ounces of beans. If you change it to 10 ounces of beans, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes your numbers will not change. Sometimes you have to just keep wiggling things, okay? So maybe, so see, that's a good show right there. You could use 10 ounces of beans or you can use 15 ounces of beans and your smart points stay the same. So on one side of trying to lower the points, to fit into your day you can also see how much more you can get we got a whole nother five ounces of beans into this recipe for the same amount of points so let's move that back to 15 okay and as you see it stayed at six so let's find something like maybe the rice Maybe we only do one and three quarters of a cup of rice. So it didn't change it any. So let's see if we raise it to a cup and a half of rice. Still didn't change it. So you can see right there. You can have anywhere from one and a half cups to two cups of rice in your recipe and your smart points will not change. So you want to put it back up to the highest you can and sometimes, let's try this. What if we did two and a half cups? What would that do? You can see it changed it to seven smart points. So maybe two and a third cup. And sometimes you just have to keep wiggling. Two and a third is also seven, so let's do two and a quarter. That is also seven, so two, two cups is your cap on this specific ingredient. So two cups of rice at four servings is six smart points per serving. The only thing I don't like is now you have to add an instruction in order for this bar right here to light up so that you can save it. You have to add an instruction. So most of the time I just put in this little box, cook. I don't need instructions. I have my recipe on paper here. So I'm just going to put cook right here. And as you see, now this bar is dark blue, so you can click on it. So you're going to click on it. It's going to create a recipe, and then you get to track it. You can pick one serving or two servings, lunch, a week from today. You can do whatever you want, and then you would just track it. You can come back. A lot of times I will do a recipe in the Recipe Builder I'm gonna flip you around and then I will talk again. Okay, so I hope that that made sense. You can do that in a hundred different ways, but a lot of times what happens is I will create a recipe in the recipe builder, get all my ingredients cooked and start putting things together, and I will realize that I have a lot more ingredients than I thought, or I get more servings than I had expected. Um, this is common with things like soups or stews or something you create in the crock pot. You can actually get more servings than what you thought because especially cooking soups or things, after you add liquids, you're not really sure where your, your serving size is going to break. I don't know what this sparkle is. You're not quite sure where that serving is going to break or how much you're actually going to get. When you cook soups and stuff, a lot of the liquid 
boils out of them or it creates more liquid or anything to that effect. So you can always, you can always, always, always go back and change the recipe builder as you're making something, after you've made something, maybe the next time I make this, I realize that the teriyaki ginger sauce is sweet enough and I don't need the chili sauce. Or maybe I decide it just needs a little soy sauce or something like that. Or next time I want to use kidney beans instead of chickpeas or I want to use or I want to eat it on cauliflower instead of rice. You just go in, you omit what you don't want to, you add in new things, and your recipe, your base recipe stays the same. So, building a better me, I hope this helped. I'm sorry that the camera was sometimes off. Um, I use my phone for all my filming. So I hope that that gave you a little insight into the recipe builder. People find it really intimidating, but it's not. Basically, you just plug in anything you want to eat, the amount. Sometimes I'll do this even, I've been, I've been eating the whole avocado hummus sprout toast for breakfast. Um, it's just me. But I was sick of adding each ingredient into my track every day. So I just made a recipe. I put two pieces of bread. I put uh, 45 grams of avocado. I put two tablespoons of hummus. And that's it. And I just put that all into a recipe. I call it the avo hummus toast. And if I use more avocado or less avocado in the morning, I can go in and change it. Click on it and it's right there able to be tracked. You can also change the number of servings. You could double the recipe if you want easily. You just go in and change all of the amounts to double a recipe or triple a recipe or cut a recipe in half. So it's really not that scary once you realize how to actually use the recipe builder. So I hope this was okay. If you enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm gonna play blues, blues, blues. All right now, please. Okay. Can I, can I play blues? If you have not subscribed yet, please do. I do lots of cook with me videos. This is the first time I've ever done a tutorial on anything, so I hope it was okay. Um, I hope you guys actually make this recipe. It looks delicious and I am super excited to make it so have a good day everybody and let me know if you like this video and if you make this recipe please let me know bye guys